Welcome back all to the same swing. This one is located on Gold Rush Mountain, or what I like to call Gold Rush Mountain, uh, northwest of the Great Plateau. Uh, Statori Mountain is what the game calls it. Alright, so as the name of the shrine suggests, you've got to time your jumping onto these things with the sink of the swing. So, not too hard to do. Just keep in mind you might fall off and lose a heart. Uh, so just make sure that when you're in here, you're running around with more than one heart. Now, sometimes that drawbridge will get stuck up there. I don't know why. You shoot both the ropes, but it just doesn't move. If that happens, just use stasis, lob a bomb arrow up at it, and that should knock it loose. Okay, that treasure chest has a, a forest dweller spear in it. I'm not going to bother with it. You're welcome to get it if you so desire. Okay, now we're going to pay attention to the bottom of these balls. We're going to try to put them back about where we got them from. So, to where they're pointing to about the same tile that you pick them up from. Reason being is you don't want these things swinging around. If they're swinging around too much, you're going to knock you right off the ledge here. That's a bad day. Now, there is another Forest Dwellers bow in here, which is a really good bow for attack power. It's about the best we have so far. So go ahead and clear some space in your bow inventory for that bad boy. And since these things are really crappy... Uh, we got bigger and better. I don't even know why I'm carrying Lionel bows around, to be honest with you. The Lionel bows don't start getting good until you start getting Mital or Savage Lionel bows. Okay, so there you have it. Two Forest Dwellers bows now. Okay, so same deal. Put the ball about back where you got it from. Okay, so from here, you're going to have to pull this thing all the way back to the end. Make sure it stops. Because sometimes if you don't go back far enough, it won't freely move back to the forward position, and you kind of need it to. Okay, so now we're going to kind of make an artificial staircase, if you will. And we're only going to use three of them for now. Reason being, we got a gold ruby waiting for us in that treasure chest. And we want that bad boy. So if you've been following along with my walkthrough, you now have over 4,000 rupees. Trust me, you're going to need them. There's some very expensive ticket items coming up. Uh, for starters, Hilly and Homeowner, where Link gets to own his own home. That costs 3,000 rupees right off the bat. So I just used my fire-based weapon to light the leaves on fire. You can also activate the switch and some torches will come down out of the ceiling. Those are kind of a pain in the butt though. Or you can just shoot a fire arrow at the leaves and catch them on fire that way. And there you have it. When we come back out, we'll knock out our fourth shrine and then we'll head and get another stamina vessel.